Is Christmas a religious holiday? The answers may surprise you. Find out next on Atheist Viewpoint. Hello and welcome to Atheist Viewpoint. Once again, I am uh, here with my trusty partner in crime, Dave Moscato Hello. from Dennis Horvitz. Uh, Dave is, of course, as you know by now, is our uh, Director of Public Relations. Um, last month, we had a real fun time. We, just before Thanksgiving, we went into New York City and we conducted on the street interviews and we froze our godless asses off. Um, we, and the whole idea was to interview some people and we asked them four questions, which I will tell you which, which, what they are right now and then we'll go over, one, go over them one by one. Uh, first we asked, what does Christmas mean to you? Uh, what do you like to do at Christmas time? With maybe a little follow-up. What is the origin of Christmas? And what are your views regarding the war on Christmas? And Dave uh, was operating the camera and why don't you tell us more? Sure. So, uh, yeah, basically, we just wanted to know uh, how people celebrate Christmas uh, and if it's really as religious as uh, some, some right-wing media make it out to be. Um, so basically, the way we did this, uh, we, we just set up a camera outside the, uh, the flagship Macy's uh, near Penn Station in Midtown and uh, just asked people to stop and talk to us. And 14 people agreed to do that. Um, and uh, they were self-selected, obviously, you know, um, they did not know in advance, I just want to point out that we were with American atheists or that we were atheists ourselves. Uh, they did understand this and we made it clear to them that we were atheists and myth American atheists. That was a they, surprise to yeah. me because uh, I, cause when you mentioned that you, you, you know, when you handed their, your card to them, mm -hmm. n nobody even flinched. Right, really. yeah. And nobody I was really expecting a reaction. To, to even notice or care that much. Uh, but yeah, I mean, everybody signed a release. Uh, all 14 people agreed to sign a release that we could use this footage. Uh, and on there it said, you know, that we're atheists and, and the or organization that we're with. And uh, yeah, it just, it wasn't really that big of a deal to anybody. Um, but uh, we are not going to have time in today's episode to show the, the entire right. interview for all 14 people. We're basically just going to cut out uh, their answers to each of these four questions and the more interesting ones. But if you'd like to see the complete unedited uh, uninterrupted footage of all four questions in a row, including you know us asking and them answering, uh, for for all 14 of these people, it is on our YouTube channel. Um, we're not trying to, to hide anything or show any kind of selection right, or do any bias here. Do any fancy uh, footwork or, right, or uh, uh, as, as selective? Some, as some or other people on the internet. Are I, I'm not going to mention any right. names. Right. So. Um, <coughs> but <laughs> anyway, um, so but yeah, it's it's all on our YouTube channel if you want to see it. So um, uh, let's let's get to the questions. Sure. So yeah, the first one then. Uh, what does Christmas mean to you? Um, so uh, yeah, let's uh, let's cut to the answers that people uh, uh, gave us on those and see what that looked like. So what does Christmas mean to you? Uh, for me, Christmas is be with my family, be together all the time, and have a good Christmas. Yeah. What does Christmas mean to you? Christmas means to me a time that you spend with your family and you get to enjoy all the merriness that it brings and it also celebrates the birth of Jesus Christ. What does Christmas mean to you? Um, let's see, Christmas means um, the spirit of coming together as a community and uh, giving um, and yeah, being part of the human family. 
What does Christmas mean to you? Um, mainly the birth of Jesus Christ, um, a time of loving, caring, sharing, what it should be all year long, you know? But it's just emphasized on that great, great, great time of year. It's just one of my favorite times of year. I love the, 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 the just the bustle of the city, the lights, the, the cheerfulness of everyone, you know, it's a beautiful time of year. Hey, what does Christmas mean to you? Uh, Christmas means being with family and just uh, being with the people you love and being able to reconnect with those you've been away from. I would, I would agree. It's all about uh, hanging out with the family, yeah. getting together, have a good meal, and uh, have good times, get to share with people. <laughs> I hope. What does Christmas mean to you? Christmas is a time to spend with your family, your friends, and just have a really good time. Enjoy life. Okay, good. <laughs> what does Christmas mean to you? I think Christmas is all about family bonding, uh, being together with your family, uh, camaraderie, building relationships. It's that fun, joyful time of year I love. Well, besides a lot of presents, um, it's a time for people to get together with their family, really rejoice and celebrate what it means to be together like a family. Definitely, I agree. Um, just giving back to those who mean so much to you throughout the year, showing how much you appreciate them. Okay, so that was... Uh, what so what did you notice? There. Well, yeah, the yeah. first thing I noticed is that uh, nobody mentioned God or going to church, which I thought was really interesting. And that wasn't just the ones that we showed you. That was actually all of them. Uh, almost nobody really said anything about religion at all. It, it really did not seem to be what people care about or how, how people interpret it as the meaning of Christmas. Uh, and, and another thing is that uh, pretty much everybody expressed some kind of, of humanistic or altruistic, especially, uh, sentiments involved with what Christmas means to them. Almost everybody, right, right. And so uh, we followed up with the, with the second question, what do you like to do at Christmas time? What do you like to do at Christmas time? I like to eat food and I like to open gifts. <laughs> I like to like have a big dinner with all my aunts, uncles, cousins. Yeah. Um, what do you like to do at Christmas time? Uh, I'm Jewish, so I go to the movies and I eat Chinese food. Sounds good to me. <laughs> Christmas time, I usually just hang out with my family. You know, a lot of my loved ones, friends, you know, have a good time, eat, drink, reminisce about the old times, you know, plan for the future and things of that nature. Uh, we uh, have a lot of parties. Uh, we do do a little bit of some Christian celebration and uh, just enjoy life. Well, I'd definitely go shopping at Macy's, I think. Uh, that's why we're out here, just checking out what the sales are going to be and uh, the product. And I think uh, we really look forward to doing that. Uh, I, we decorate Christmas cookies in my family every year. My mom makes some butter cookies and we all put different designs on them with candy and stuff. So, Generally, what do you like to do at Christmas time? Definitely love to drink lots of eggnog. <laughs> um, hang some stockings by the, by the fire uh, and just have Christmas morning with my family and um, most importantly watch NBA games all day long. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I love shopping for my family. Um, it's not so much the materialism of what you can give them, but showing them what they mean to you and the happy and the joy they they get. Yeah, you see them. Yeah. What uh, there would seem to be a, a recurring uh, theme that was missing mm -hmm. in in all of these answers. Yep. Uh, it, even the person who mentioned uh, that the meaning of Christmas in the first question is the birth of Christ, is birth of Jesus Christ. Uh, not a single person there mentioned going to church as something that they do at Christmas time. Uh, almost everybody mentioned spending time with their family and friends, uh, shopping and gift giving, of course, uh, eating and drinking and volunteering even came up. Uh, but nothing about church, nothing about uh, but really doing any kind of religious type of activity that, that uh, a lot of people would associate right, with Christmas. Including volunteering. Mm -hmm. um, and, and as I say, I, I would think that uh, from, from my point of view, it seems that uh, in one way or another, almost everybody expected some expressed what we would consider to be kind of a humanistic point of view. This is this is how humanists and atheists that I know celebrate this holiday, if they celebrate it, if they choose to do that, is by doing these sorts of things, spending time with their family and volunteering and 
giving gifts, nothing to do with religion. That's not what it's about. And the third question that we asked them had uh, uh, was very closely related, related to some of the other shows that we've done here, mm -hmm. particularly one of, the, one of your workshops, uh, which was uh, involved the historicity, the, you know, is, is there any real historical basis for the New Testament? And we just asked the question, what is the historical origin of Christmas? about uh, the origin of Christmas? The origin of Christmas, well in my religion since I'm a Christian, it's about the birth of Jesus Christ and celebrating him and three days later his, um, him being alive again. Do you uh, know anything about the historical origin of Christmas? Um, I really don't know. It's, I don't know. <laughs> Is Santa Claus the father of Christmas? Okay. Uh, do you happen to know what the origin of Christmas is? Uh, well, it's supposed to be the birth of Jesus Christ, right? Do you have uh, any ideas about, but historically, do you any any of the history of it? Do you know anything in the history of it? Uh, just the whole, like, Mary and Joseph went in the stable and all that kind of thing, and the people came, the kings and the shepherds and stuff. Yeah, all that stuff. Um, yeah. I heard a few rumors about it, but the actual origin, no, I don't know. Uh, what do you know about the origin of Christmas? Oh gosh, well I, I was born and raised in a Catholic uh, community, so I'm familiar with the practices of the Catholicism. Historically not so much. Um, I know it's the, uh, the birth of Jesus and that's what, uh, that's what they celebrate during Christmas, that's about it. That's uh, probably about equal to what I know. It's the birth of Jesus. And, uh... Uh, what do you know about the origin of Christmas? I know that it is, if I'm, if I'm for sure, the birth of Jesus, and uh, it's commemorated with uh, the Mass that they have and, and things like that. Do you happen to know what the, uh, histor the historical origin of Christmas is? Are you going to judge me if I say no? <laughs> We're not judgmental. <laughs> um, I think I should know this. Well, yeah. like... From like the story, yes, like, it's supposed to represent the uh, birth of Jesus, but I know it's not actually his birthday, so <laughs> that much I do know. So as you uh, as you saw that uh, no one mentioned uh, Christmas from any kind of uh, historical basis at all. Yeah, I mean nobody really seemed to have any kind of knowledge of of, of where the traditions actually came from. Uh, there was one person who did mention that uh, it's not actually the birthday of Jesus. Um, but uh, as far as the, the traditions of the holiday, uh, you know, Yule Logs and caroling and, and the, the tree and, and the whole, all of those things, uh, nobody mentioned any of those things at all or seemed to have any knowledge about it. Yeah, a couple of people identified as, act as being Catholic. And uh, from, from, from my own research, I, I've, uh, I, I would have to say that, e that the Catholic Church has actually made no uh, secret of the fact that they literally chose December 25th mm -hmm. as as the uh, uh, just the day we're going to celebrate we're going to celebrate the birth of Jesus. Yeah, I, I mean it's there's the the Bible itself really is is very unclear about even what year Jesus was born. It's a contradicting uh, accounts and uh, let alone what day or what month. It's just not in there. Yeah, and and I, I noticed that most people, uh, well, not most people, but a certain number of people, uh, basically just said it, it, that it's the, it's the day of the birth of Jesus without without actually you know say, actually nobody said any history at all mm -hmm. no one mentioned any history and of course uh, we would be we would be doing a disservice if uh, we didn't mention our friends over at Fox News uh, and uh, the which you as an atheist should be actively uh, participating in and that is the war on Christmas <laughs> Uh, and of course, uh, the best way to do that is to wish everybody happy holidays and maybe paint signs and put them up. Sure. Um, so we we asked that question uh, to everyone we talked to. Uh, what are the what are your views on the war on Christmas? What do you know about the war on Christmas? The war on Christmas, I don't know anything. 
specifically organizations, but specifically Fox News, is claiming that because some businesses, such as Macy's and others, put up the sign Happy Holidays as opposed to specifically Merry Christmas, that they're trying to make a war on Christmas. So they're pretty much trying to generalize Christmas as being just a, with pretty much taking Jesus Christ out of Christmas. Oh, it, it, I don't know. Is that is that your opinion? Yeah. Your question. What do you think of the war on Christmas? Uh, the war on Christmas? You mean people saying like Happy Holidays instead of Merry Christmas and that kind of stuff? Right. Uh, I think it's a manufactured controversy. Um, I think it's a good thing to want to be more inclusive. Um, to because not everyone celebrates Christmas. It's not about like Christmas is a bad thing. It's just there's more than one kind of person in the world, and it's important to be open-minded and aware of that. And I don't, I don't, I, I think they're just trying to be politically correct and trying to make the masses happy and not try to offend anybody. So I really don't have a problem with that. Right. You, so you don't have a problem with saying Happy Holidays, in other words. No, I don't. I, I didn't know there was a war on Christmas. I didn't even know that. Thank you very much. Uh, I, I'm not very educated on the war on Christmas, so I'd be interested to learn more. I didn't know that there was a war on Christmas. Well, what's your opinion about the war on Christmas? I don't know about the war on Christmas. The war on Christmas is a claim made primarily by Fox News that because stores such as Macy's and some of these other places have the sign Happy Holidays as opposed to specifically Merry Christmas, that there is a war on Christmas. Oh, I don't believe that, that there should be a war. I think that they should say both. What, what's wrong with saying happy, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays? Right, so you don't think that, you don't think that uh, the sign Happy Holidays by itself is a war on Christmas? I don't think so. What do you know about the war on Christmas? There was a war? I didn't know about that. There was a war on Christmas? It's yes, such I a happy time. That's sad. Oh my gosh. No, I well, uh, uh, th there um, is a, I know that you have some favorites in that sure, group, uh, yes. and so do I. Uh, I, I mean, the main thing is that uh, most people had no idea what this was or, or what we were even talking about. Uh, some people uh, asked us what it was, and we told them, of course. But uh, one person uh, thought it was an actual war. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Which was, that, that cracked me up. But yeah, uh, another person uh, mentioned that what I think is really the best answer to this is that it's a manufactured controversy. Uh, not everybody celebrates Christmas, and we're a nation of, of diversity, and that's totally fine. That's, that's what this country is all about. And the fact that Christians uh, try to, to claim an entire season out of the year is pretty ridiculous. Yeah, and I, I also have to say that uh, uh, was that one woman that made that remark about Fox News, specifically mm -hmm. Fox is at war with everybody. Uh, I, I, I think for me, as the one who was, who was asking the question, uh, and you, maybe, maybe it, you can see it in the in the in the playback, but um, I had to kind of resist imposing my own, you know, trying to correct people as to, you know, what they, what, you know, what, even if their, even if their, their opinions were kind of like off the mark somewhat, and one or two of them were, as far as the war and Christmas goes, you know, mm -hmm. we, you know, what you see is what you get. We just let them. Yeah, and, and like we were saying before, I mean, if you want to see the, the uninterrupted footage, including us asking the questions and how we worded it, we tried to be consistent as much as we could, but uh, those are all available on our YouTube channel. And again, we want to we want to mention that these people were, you know, all signed releases. Mm -hmm. We had their permission. They knew we were atheists. Didn't phase anybody. In fact, there was one woman. I don't know. Uh, um, there was one woman who specifically said, I think, um, that um, uh, about the war on Christmas. That you know, something about taking Jesus taking Jesus out of Christmas. Mm -hmm. But even she didn't flinch when we when, when she saw when your she saw my card when she at the end. saw your card yeah. and uh, uh, we have you know we've, we're going to make this this uh, video available to anybody you know mm -hmm. especially the people that participated and we we definitely want to thank them for participating yes uh, we appreciate it it was cold but it was a fun day it was in any case we are coming to the end of another uh, atheist viewpoint uh, I have been your host Dennis Horvitz again with my uh, trusty companion and partner in crime. Uh, Dave Moscato, the Director of Public Relations. And uh, before we go, we want to continue the war on Christmas by wishing everybody happy holidays. 
And I also just want to point out uh, our oh, yes, national right. convention is coming up Easter weekend, uh, the, another great uh, holiday that was uh, absorbed by the Christian church. Uh, I would like to say that uh, if you haven't already registered, that convention registration makes a great holiday present, and you can buy registrations for other people. Just go to our website, atheists.org slash convention 2014. There's all sorts of information there about registering. And we got to, uh, something else that we need to mention, too, something uh, you wanted to talk about, matching funds. Yeah, well, we have two uh, matching donation funds set up right now. One is a $100,000 match that we have set up for funding our uh, IRS case, the discrimination suit against the IRS. Uh, every dollar donated to that will be matched. Um, so if, if you'd like to donate, we would really appreciate that. And then we, of course, also have our $50,000 awareness match that's used mm -hmm. for, um, for advocacy and awareness about atheism, billboard campaigns, and things like that. Okay, you have been watching Atheist Viewpoint, where reason reigns and reality rules. We'll see you next week. Knock, knock, the sound from my door A youth with a message from the Lord Jesus loves you, yes I'm sure But I'm not born anymore You're trying to save my soul With your washed out eyes Offering me real estate up in the skies Don't be offended by a word to the wise But I'm not born anymore I've read your Bible and read it well I've heard all the stories the preachers tell What kind of saints would create a hell I'm not falling anymore Can't you get free from the jail inside You sold your own mind for a place to hide Break your slave chains and cast them aside If I'm happy, yes I am, I think for myself, I've learned to stand, kneel if you want, I don't give a damn, but I'm not praying anymore. Can't you get free from the jail inside, you sold your own mind for a place to hide, break your slave chains and cast them aside, freedom's knocking at your door. Yourself, your disdain life, and you're scared of hell. They've indoctrinated you quite well, but we're not falling anymore. Can't you get free from the jail inside? You sold your own.